His family. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam seven children, three sons and four daughters. Number one, Al-Qasim. And this was his kunya. Number two, Zainab radiallahu anha. Number three, Ruqayya radiallahu anha. Number four, Umm Kulthum radiallahu anha. Number five, Fatima radiallahu anha. Number six, Abdullah, who was also nicknamed At-Tayyib and At-Tahir. Number seven, Ibrahim. He was the son of Mary the Coptic, who was the Prophet ﷺ's concubine. All of his other children were from Khadija radiallahu anha. No other wife of his bore any children of his. All of the Prophet ﷺ's children passed away before him, except for his daughter Fatima radiallahu anha. She passed away six months after the Prophet wasallam, and Allah raised her rank for her patience and seeking the reward until she was considered to be the best of women and the best of the Prophet wasallam's daughters. All of his daughters wasallam, reached Islam and migrated with him wasallam. His wasallam's 11 paternal uncles. Number one, Hamza, radiyallahu anh, leader of the martyrs. Number two, Al-Abbas radiallahu anhu. Number three, Abu Talib, Abdul Munaf. Number four, Abu Lahab, Abdul Uzza. Number five, Al-Zubayr. Number six, Abdul Ka'bah. Number seven, Al-Muqawwim. Number eight, Dirar. <coughs> Number nine, Quthun. Number ten, Al-Mughira, also nicknamed Hajal. Number 11, Al-Ghaydaq, his name was Mus'ab. None of his uncles accepted Islam except for Hamza and Abbas radiyana anhuma. His sallallahu alayhi wa six paternal aunties. Number 1, Safiya, Umm Zubair ibn Awam. Number 2, Umm Hakim al-Bayda'u. Number 3, Atiqa. Number 4, Barra. Number five, Urwa. Number six, Umayma. An acronym for his sallallahu alayhi wasallam's wives, Hajjaz, Sakhrun, Sam'a. Ha is for Hafsa bint Umar bin Khattab radiyana anha. Jim is for Juwayriya bint al-Harith radiyana anha. Zay is for Zainab bint Jahsh radiyana anha. And for Zainab bint Khuzayma radiyallahu anha. Saad is for Safiya bint Huyay ibn Akhtab radiyallahu anha. Kha is for Khadija bint Khuwaylid radiyallahu anha. Ra is for Ramla, Umm Habiba bint Abi Sufyan radiyallahu anha. Sin is for Sauda bint Zama'a radiyallahu anha. Mim is for Maymuna bint Al Harith radiyallahu anha. Ain is for Aisha bint Abi Bakr radiyallahu anha. And Ha is for Hind, Um Salama, Bint Abi Umayya, Radiana Anha. Khadija, Radiana Anha. The first of the Prophet Sallallahu wives was Khadija Bint Khuwaylid, Al Qurayshiyya, Al Asadiyya, Radiana Anha. He married her before prophethood while she was 40 years old. The Prophet Sallallahu didn't marry anyone else until after she passed away. All of his children were from her except for Ibrahim. Khadija aided the Prophet ﷺ when he received prophethood and fought and defended him both emotionally and financially. Allah sent a salam, the greetings of, to her by the way of Jibreel and this was specific to her and not to any other woman other than her. She passed away three years before the Islamic migration. Sauda so radiallahu anha. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, married Sauda bin Zama'a al Qurayshiyya shortly after the death of Khadija. She was the one who gifted her nights to Aisha. Anha. Aisha anha. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, then married Aisha as Siddiqa bint as Siddiq, the one who Allah freed of the slanders against her from above the seven heavens, the most beloved to the Prophet. Aisha was presented to the Prophet ﷺ in a dream 
in a piece of silken cloth by an angel who said, This is your wife. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, married Aisha in the month of Shawwal. She was six years old and consummated the marriage when she was nine, during the first year of Hijrah. She is the only virgin the Messenger of Allah وسلم, married and the only woman who the Prophet وسلم, received revelation was on her lap. She was the most beloved of the creation to the Messenger of Allah وسلم. Her innocence was sent down from the heavens and the Ummah is in consensus that the one who slanders her is a disbeliever. She is the most knowledgeable woman. Even the seen and knowledgeable companions would seek her verdict in religious matters. Hafsa radiallahu anha. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, then married Hafsa bint Umar bin al Khattab radiallahu anha. She had embraced Islam with her first husband, Khunais ibn Hudafa al Sahmi. She also migrated with him to Al Madinah. He passed away right after the Battle of Uhud. So the Messenger of Allah وسلم, then married her. Zainab bint Khuzayma. Anha. He sallallahu alayhi wa then married Zainab bint Khuzayma ibn Harith al-Qaysiyya from the tribe of Banu Hilal ibn Amir. She passed away only two months after marrying the Messenger of Allah sallallahu and was also given the nickname Mother of the Needy. Um Salama radiyana anha. He sallallahu alayhi wa then married Um Salama Hind bint Abu Umayyah Al Qurashiya Al Mahzumiya. Abu Umayyah's name was Hudayfa ibn al Mughira. Um Salama was the last one to die from the Prophet Sallallahu wives. She died in the year 62 after Hijrah. Juwayriya radiallahu anha. He also married Juwayriya bint al Harith ibn Abi Dirar al Mustariqiyya. She was from the captives of Banu Mustariq. She had come to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seeking his assistance in buying her freedom. So he fulfilled this for her and married her. Zainab bin Jahsh radiallahu anha. Then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam married Zainab bin Jahsh from the tribe of Banu Asad. She is also the cousin from his paternal aunt Umayma. In her regard, the following verse was revealed. So when Zaid had no longer any need for her, we married her to you. Surah Ahzab, ayah number 37. With this, she used to boast to the other wives of the Prophet wasallam, saying, you were all married off by your families, whilst Allah married me from above the seven heavens. From those things special about her, Allah was her guardian and gave her away in marriage. She passed away in the beginning of Umar ibn Khattab caliphate. She initially was married to Zayd ibn Haritha, whom the Prophet ﷺ had adopted. When they divorced her, Allah married her to the Prophet ﷺ to show the Ummah the permissibility of marrying the former wives of your adopted children. Um Habiba radiallahu anha. He sallallahu alayhi wa then married Um Habiba, Ramla bint Abi Sufyan, Sakhar ibn Harb, al Qurashiya al Amawiya. He married her while she was in Abyssinia as a migrant. The king Najashi paid her dowry of 400 dinar. She was then escorted to the Messenger of Allah وسلم, from there. She passed away during the rule of her brother Muawiyah. Safiya radiallahu anha. He saw Allah then married Safiya bint Huyay ibn Akhtab, head of the tribe Banu Nadir from the descendants of Harun ibn Imran, the brother of Musa alayhi salam. Therefore she was the daughter of a prophet and the wife of a prophet. She was one of the most beautiful women. She had become a captive, so he freed her and made this her dowry, which then became a practice of sunnah. Maymuna, radiallahu anha. He, sallallahu alayhi wa then married Maymuna, bint al-Harith al-Hilaliya. She is the last of the Prophet, sallallahu wives, whom he married after returning to Mecca to perform Umrah. There is no doubt that when the Prophet, sallallahu passed away, nine of his wives were still alive. The first of them to follow him after his death was Zainab bin Jash, who died 20 after Hijrah. The last of his wives to pass away was Um Salama in the year 62 during the caliphate of Yazid ibn Muawiyah.